Hello everyone. This is going to be question five in my series on the book of questions. Uh, this is the 2013 revised edition, by the way. So question number five goes, would you rather watch an Olympics that outlawed performance enhancing drugs or one that embraced them and let athletes use medical pit crews to jack up their performances? Well, uh, my problem with answering that is I don't watch Olympics anyway. Uh, and I don't know which one I would prefer to watch. I don't know that I would prefer either one, really. Uh, the, the problem with this question is that it's actually comparing apples to kumquats. And it's, uh, it's really difficult to decide which, which version I would prefer to watch. Uh, I would have to see uh, exactly how the uh, pit crew scheme worked out, uh, you know, and, and what it did to the actual competition, I think, uh, before I could choose one over the other. But realistically, I don't think I would prefer one over the other. Uh, on the one hand, the naturalist Olympics, uh, where the performance enhancement stuff is not allowed, uh, well, that's essentially like the Olympics today, uh, but let's assume that uh, we can magically pre prevent cheating uh, or that the incidence of cheating is way lower as a result of, the, of, of an alternative where uh, where the pit crews and, and performance enhancements are allowed. Uh, well, that would be interesting on in its own right because you would see natural humans uh, competing uh, to see who was the best at, at particular sports. And, uh, you know, and that it has a sort of uh, appeal of its own. Uh, to the people that like watching the that sort of uh, sporting contest. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the enhanced games would be, uh, uh, to some extent, still a competition of humans. Uh, you know the the mental aspect of the competition, and and there would still be some physical uh, aspect to it. But it would also be a scientific and, uh, uh, you know, technological. Uh, and, and it would be a different type of competition uh, because not only would the athletes be competing on their own personal merit and their own abilities, they would also be competing uh, based on who they could afford to who could they could afford to hire, uh, and what kind of sponsorship they they have to support the enhancements, and that is 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 a different situation altogether. And now you still got in both cases a solid competition, and the, as long as everybody is bound by the same basic rules or the in the enhanced games where performance enhancements are expected or in the uh, naturalist ones where they're not allowed. You've still got what's essentially a level playing field. Uh, whoever can bring the most resources to the field within the rules is still likely going to win. And resources includes raw ability and, and that sort of thing. Now, I can see that uh, the, some of the, the, like the best natural athletes will probably make the best augmented athletes as well. So uh, you're probably going to still get a reasonable level of competition there and comparison. But I think with the enhancements and so on, uh, performance enhancing drugs and so on, I think uh, you're going to end up adding more noise in the comparison. And... Uh, you know, whoever has the could the best recent breakthrough in performance enhancements is going to have an edge over everybody else, even if the other people have more raw ability. And of course, you've got the uh, 
the gruesome aspect of the toll that the performance enhancements would take on the athletes themselves. Uh, I'm not aware of any performance enhancing drugs that are really, really effective that don't have some sort of medium to long term deleterious effect on the athlete. Uh, more so than simply competing naturally does. Because uh, obviously if you're competing hard, you're doing damage to your body uh, physically. Uh, you know, joints and muscles and that sort of thing. So there's a point at which you can no longer compete. And I think that would come sooner in the performance enhancement case. But anyway, what I'm saying is they're not really the same thing, even though there's a similar, there's a similarity to them. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really hard to pick which one would I watch. Uh, well, I personally wouldn't watch either one, probably. If you put a gun to my head and I had to make a snap decision, I'd probably watch the naturalist ones without the enhancements. But it's not uh, a choice that... Uh, that I would really normally make because I, I don't watch Olympics anyway. Uh, I don't find that sort of thing interesting at all. Uh, but I would probably watch the naturalist one. I don't know for sure, but I think more because it's, uh, it seems like it's more of a challenge for the participants uh, rather than a challenge for a pit crew and, and investors and uh, you know scientists and so on. Uh, I'd much rather see that scientific medical type endeavors directed at uh, more humanitarian uh, um, uh, goals, and uh, that basically means that uh, if I had to justify the choice, I would say watching the naturalist ones games means that I'm not watching the the performance enhanced ones and that means there's less motivation by one viewer to sink resources into those games. Uh, now I have to say that I think I'm probably in the vast minority. I think the majority of viewers wouldn't care and they'd watch whichever one had the highest spectacle value and that's almost certainly going to be the enhanced games because there's almost certainly going to be far more medical emergencies and similar during competitions. Anyway, uh, I think that's probably all, all I can say about that so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, if you liked the video or you didn't, leave a like or a dislike. If you didn't like my opinion, you can leave a dislike if you want. It's not going to bother me any. Uh, if you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. After all, if you don't turn on notifications, you won't get notifications. Who knew? And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.